Hello, welcome to Mocha Empress Oracle and Tarot Channel. My name is Renee and today's reading is for the energy of the day reading and it's for Friday, January 29th, 2021. Oh my God, can you believe it? We're almost at the end of January already for the new year. So um, we're going to be using the three card spread. I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot deck. And the three card spread consists of three cards. The first card is representing the energy of the day. The second card is representing what you should be focusing on. And the third card represents what you should be avoiding. Okay. Um, so I've already done a blessing. Uh, did the blessing. Shuffle the cards. And I'm going to lay them out right now. Okay. All right. So first card is the Empress. This is the focus of the day. Empress. We love the Empress card. Major Arcana card. Okay. The Empress is someone, and it's feminine energy. Doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a woman. It could be a man or a woman. But the energy is feminine. Okay, so when I say she, I mean feminine energy. When I say he, I mean masculine energy. Okay, so men and women, they can have either or. They can have feminine energy or they can have masculine energy. Okay, um, this message is for whoever it resonates with. I mean, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, this is a general energy reading. Okay, it's the energy for the day. It doesn't mean it's for anyone in particular. But the first card is the energy that you should be focusing on. No, sorry. The first card represents the energy of the day, which is the Empress card. Okay. The Empress card is someone that is living in lavish abundance. Someone that has her shit together. Okay. Um, she is someone that gives, this energy is, it gives, helps give birth to dreams. Um, it's motherly. It's loving. It's nurturing. Um, birth to dreams, birth to, not just birth to children, but birth to dreams, birth to ideas. Okay. Um, she nurtures herself. She nurtures others. She's very loving. She's very caring, caring, very compassionate. Um, this energy, and as you can see in the, um, in the card, she has a connection with nature. She has a connection with earth. Um, everything of the earth. The, the, the trees, the grass, the water, waterfalls, the animals, um, other human beings. So see, look at the picture. She's holding a baby in her arm and all the animals are nestled around her and they're all at ease and they're all like feeling the, the, the nurturing spirit coming from her, the nurturing energy coming from her. And she's surrounded in green lush vegetation and trees and there's a waterfall in the background. It's just... Mother Nature. That's what I think of when I see the Empress. I see Mother Nature. I see someone who is just, who's Mother Nature, who emanates that Mother Nature spirit. Okay? Mother Nature gets along with everything and everyone on this planet. That is the Empress. Empress is very powerful. That's the energy of the day. The second card it is what you should be focusing on. The second card is a major arcana card as well. It is the wheel. It is the 10th, well, actually the 11th major arcana card. It says 10, number 10, but it's actually the 11th card because major arcana cards start with zero, the number zero. But the wheel, um, it represents a time of positive change, a situation that suddenly moves forward. When wheel energy is pulled, when wheel energy is um, revealed in a spread, a tarot spread, it means that luck is on your side. Fortune is on your side. So this is supposed to be folk. This is what you're supposed to be focusing on. You're supposed to be focusing on positive change, positivity, a situation that is moving you forward. Maybe you've gotten a promotion at your job. Maybe you've 
for those that are unemployed right now because of the pandemic or for whatever reason, maybe you have found a new job, that is positive change. That is a move forward for you. Promotion is a positive change, a move forward for you. Um, starting your own business could be a move forward for you because now you're your own boss. You can make as much money as you want. You're, you can spend time working and everything so that your income takes care of your bills and also take care of your family and be there for your family more. So it's a positive thing. Um, this, this could mean, um, a, a time for positive change. A situation could mean, um, that moves you forward is, uh, taking on a project that you've been working on and is, is able to allow you to meet the necessary people, network with this necessary crowd, you know, put your name out there, put your reputation out there to build you up you know, in your whatever career field that is. Um, Because I'm not getting anything as far as like relationship wise, as far as like intimate relationships. I'm thinking this is more along the lines of doing with um, business, with work, uh, career, employment. Um, Yeah. 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 If this does have anything to do with someone who's going through relationships, um, if if this does not resonate with you as far as like the business side and it resonates more with you on the relationship side, um, it could mean um, a situation that suddenly moves forward. It could mean that you're coming out of you and your partner are no longer just boyfriend and girlfriend, but now you're engaged, um, getting ready to get married. Uh, or it could mean that someone that you were interested in, maybe you have moved forward into a relationship. Um, things are on a a different level, a higher level now. Maybe you were in separation with someone and now you guys have maybe reconciled and are getting back together. That could be a positive thing. That could be moving you forward. Um, Maybe you and a friend uh, fell out and now you're on speaking terms again. Now you're friends again. Maybe you and a relative fell out about something and you guys have talked it out and now you're back on speaking terms. That could be a positive change, a move forward in your relationship. So it could be a relationship thing, but from what I'm getting, the energy that I'm picking up on, it feels more like business. It feels more like work. So, but like I said, that could not be the case for some of you, but that's what the focus is on. The focus is on positive changes. Um, situations that move you forward that's what you should be focusing on um situations that may bring you fortune not necessarily monetary or financial fortune but something that reputation um with a good name the good reputation with a good rapport um as far as like relationships go, uh, fortune, just being on a good, a good level, a good, what is it? Um, the word I'm looking for being in, um, I don't know. The status of your relationship could be improving. That could be your fortune. You're at a higher level now. So Okay. Okay. Um, moving forward. The third card is what you should be avoiding. Okay. We have nine of fire, which is nine of wands. Um, this is Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries energy. 
Nine of Fire is Nine of Wands. It's not giving up. It's fighting for what you believe in, fighting for what you've created, what you trying to protect that, what you've created. Um, having courage, believing in yourself, f fighting for what you believe in. So what you should be avoiding is backing down, throwing in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. That's what this is saying. This is in the position of what you should be avoiding for the energy of the day. This is saying don't give up on what it is that you want. Have the courage to stand up for what you believe in. So this looks like a good, a good reading for today. Okay. You are, someone is in this Empress energy. Someone is very nurturing. Someone is very loving, very abundant. They, they give birth to their dreams. They give um, life to everything around them. They're very nurturing to themselves and to others. And people look up to them and people feel very nurtured by this person. They're, they're loving this energy this person is giving off. It's like whenever this person is around, they just feel themselves like drunk on their energy. And in order to, it says that the focus for this person should be to give positivity to things that is going to move them forward in life. Um, whether that be in their career and that would be in their relationship and whatever this is that they're supposed to be giving positivity to, that they're supposed to be giving a chance, that they're supposed to be letting it move forward, helping it move forward. Don't give up because the situation is supposed to happen. This is supposed to be a good thing. It's in the cards. That's what this is. Well, I'm sorry. This is that's what this is saying. It's saying fortune is on your side, but you can't give up. You can't give up on what it is that you're trying to create. You can't give up on what it is that you're trying to um, that you're protecting. That you're you have to protect it. You have to to fight for it because you believe in it. You believe that it's a good thing. You believe um, in what it stands for. So. That's what the energy of the day is. Just fight for what you believe in. Fight for your dreams. Fight for your love. Fight for what it is that you've created. Whether it's creating a relationship with someone or creating um, this new venture that you have or this or, or reinventing yourself as far as like, you know, going for position that you've been wanting to go for. Um, in your job or starting a business or anything like that. Whatever it is is saying this is time for a positive change and it's going to happen and luck is going to be on your side but you can't, fortune is going to be on your side but you can't give up. You can't give up. You can't let the naysayers come in and change your mind. You, you have to protect that. You have to have courage. Okay? Okay, that's the energy of the day. Okay, I hope you guys have a rest of the happy Friday. I love you guys, okay? And I'll see you on Monday. Peace, love, and light. Bye.